The film begins, introducing Zhu Fu Long, a police officer at HKPD, who is preparing for his wedding with an actress named Song. Before the wedding, Zhu Fu Long had to take money from the bank and take pre-wedding photos. In front of the bank, Fu Long accidentally met his partner, Chen. At that time, Chen was on an undercover mission. But when Fu Long entered the bank, there was a gang that robbed the bank. As a good policeman, Fu Long intended to fight the robbers with the toy car belonging to a kid beside him. But unfortunately, that kid didn't want to lend him the toy. Because of that, Fu Long failed to stop the robbers. What's even worse, that the gang managed to steal the money and run away. They also took Chen as a hostage. Fu Long immediately chased them with his great skills he learned before. Then, Fu Long got on top of the car and tried to stop it. Thanks to his hard work, he finally managed to get into the car. At the same time, the police sent reinforcements to Fu Long. Seeing the arrival of the police, Fu Long immediately pushed Chen out so that he wouldn't get involved in a fistfight. With his kung fu skills, Fu Long was able to crush all of those robbers and now, he was facing their boss. This thrilling incident was broadcast live by some TV channels, and journalists even heated up the fight by giving weapons to the robber boss. And finally, the fist fight became even more tense. After defeating the robber boss, Fu Long tried to control the car, which turned out the brakes had failed. To avoid destroying the residential area, Fu Long was forced to crash the car into the police office. In the evening, Song was very angry with Fu Long because he did not come to the pre-wedding photoshoot and instead joined in catching robbers. Even though Fu Long had promised to focus on his marriage. On the other hand, Fu Long didn't like his fiance's job, who always gets the suffering role in soap operas. Of course, Song didn't like what Fu Long said, so she ended up making a fuss. Because of that incident, Song suffered a broken bone and was taken to the hospital. Since that night, they broke up their relationship. The next day, Fu Long felt unlucky again because he was transferred to the administration department for seven months because he was deemed to have damaged the police station facilities. Even though Fu Long was able to catch the robbers, he was even willing to sacrifice his marriage. Not only robbery cases, Fu Long was also always successful in investigating big cases involving the big mafia. Meanwhile, Chen, who had minimal contribution, actually got a promotion. However, when Fu Long left his office, the junior police officers looked very happy because as long as Fu Long was around, they always came home late. One day, Fu Long invited Chen to go cycling and asked for a field mission. But when he was having fun cycling, suddenly he fell. As a result, Fu Long failed to get another mission. During the recovery process of his leg, Fu Long could only sit around, eating, and watching Bruce Lee's films. Apart from accompanying the recovery, Fu Long did all that so he could move on from his ex-girlfriend. In the end, Fu Long, who ate too much, became fat. The scene moved to Tokyo. Here there's a high-ranking Yakuza named Takashi. He was seen visiting his grandfather, who was the ruler of the entire Yakuza region. Here, Takashi wanted to remind his grandfather that the transfer of the throne will be held soon. However, this old man was instead focused on watching Song's soap opera. He even asked Takashi to invite the actress to the Yakuza event. On the other hand, Chen called Fu Long to a hospital to carry out a mission. Before carrying out this mission, Chen told Fu Long that there was an adult film director named Yuji who was the victim of a robbery the other day. Because of a bump to his head, Yuji experienced temporary memory loss. After telling Fu Long of Yuji's condition, Chen gave Fu Long a mission to take Yuji to his hometown in Japan. On the plane, Fu Long accidentally met Song. Apparently, they both wanted to go to Japan. Fu Long immediately greeted Song enthusiastically. But with Fu Long's chubby appearance, Song almost didn't recognize him. The two of them then chatted without being awkward because they already moved on from the past. Not long after that, Takashi invited Song to return to her seat. It turned out Song was going to go to Japan to fulfill an invitation from Takashi's grandfather, who was a big fan of her soap operas. When Takashi was returning to his seat, he accidentally saw Yuji. Strangely, Takashi looked at Yuji, the director, with a cynical look. Arriving in Japan, Fu Long was greeted by Maggie, an interpreter who would guide him there.
There was also a policeman named Endo, who was responsible for Yuji's return. On the way, the car they were riding in stopped at a gas station nearby because there was a very strong fart smell. Endo immediately accused Yuji, even though he was the real culprit. Endo even forced Yuji into the toilet so that his cover wouldn't be exposed. But while they were in the toilet, a hired killer came in and suddenly, this is what happened. Yuji immediately ran so badly that he forgot to wear his pants. After that, at the Tokyo police station, Chen called Maggie to ask about the process of Yuji's repatriation. Maggie told Chen that Yuji had run away, and because of that, Chen immediately became angry with Fu Long. But as a good boss, Chen provided assistance for Fu Long by sending an acquaintance named Thor. Meanwhile, Endo secretly managed to catch Yuji. Not only that, he also secretly collaborated with Takashi, who from the start had been targeting the director. At the same time, Thor invited Fu Long to his house to give him a stay while in Japan. There, Thor told Fu Long that he had been a police officer in Hong Kong and was quite respected because of his achievements. Even people called him the Hot Hand Detective. He also said that Chen was once his junior. Therefore, Thor was willing to help Fu Long solve the case. While Thor and Fu Long were chatting, there was a riot at a cafe, which turned out to be owned by Feng Hua, Thor's ex-wife. In this place, the Yakuza wanted to ask for tax money. Feeling worried, Thor immediately confronted the Yakuza, but unfortunately, he was beaten up. Then, from a distance, a kid came and immediately attacked the Yakuza. Seeing the commotion, Fu Long finally intervened to beat up the Yakuza. Even though he was already fat, Fu Long was still agile like Bruce Lee. Then he cleverly led the Yakuza into a building and then locked them from the outside. But strangely, the police just let them go without any further investigation. Thor then told Fu Long that the police in here were indeed friends with Yakuza. The police didn't want to disturb the thugs so that there wouldn't be a bigger riot. While they were talking, the boy who had been involved in the scuffle was seen admiring Fu Long. Even this boy, Xiao Hu, wanted to learn Kung Fu from Fu Long. After the boy left, Thor told Fu Long that Xiao Hu was Feng Hua's nephew, who lived as an orphan after his parents died in a car accident. As his aunt, Feng Hua chose to divorce, so she could focus on looking after Xiao Hu. Elsewhere, Takashi came to a pier where he held Yuji. Takashi then interrogated Yuji and asked about a video. Apparently, Yuji once made a film in Yakuza's warehouse, and at that time, Yuji saw Takashi and the gang smuggling drugs. Therefore, Yuji recorded the incident to make it viral. But due to his memory loss, Yuji didn't understand all of Takashi's ramblings and those thugs tortured Yuji. The next day, the police found Yuji's body on the dock, and not long after that, the case was closed because Yuji was thought to have committed suicide. Of course, Fu Long didn't believe the police's conclusion and was very sure that there was something hidden. Therefore, he decided to go to Yuji's house with Thor to look for clues there. After checking every corner of the room, they finally found a broken cell phone in a pillow. But when they were about to leave, Thor was attacked by a dog. That night, Fu Long and Thor ate hot soup at the nearest cafe. Not long after, Xiao Hu came and brought Yuji's cell phone which he had just repaired. But after checking it, there was a video that couldn't be played. And the only clue they had was a photo of the fish market belonging to the Yakuza. After that, Fu Long and Thor decided to go to that place. When they got there, there was a fish exhibition event attended by Takashi and his grandfather. Not only that, Song was also there as an invited guest. Even though he wanted to approach Song, Fu Long remembered that his goal was to investigate Yuji's death. In the middle of the investigation, Thor accidentally saw the fishman dropping his wares, so he picked up the fish and ate it. But it turned out that the fish he ate contained magic powder, so it made him feel dizzy. What's more, the Yakuza saw Thor and immediately chased after him. Fu Long didn't stay silent and immediately came to save Thor with his unrivaled Kung Fu skills. While Fu Long was beating those thugs, Thor was instead driving a tractor while grinning because he was still under the influence of drugs. Because Thor was still flying, the exhibition became a mess. Takashi was very angry because Thor almost hit his grandfather. On the other hand, Song was also angry 
She was very disappointed with Fu Long, who made her embarrassed and ruined everything, even though this exhibition was a very important thing for her. Not long after, Endo and the other police came to arrest Fu Long and Thor. At the police station, Maggie came to Fu Long and said that the Japanese police had turned a blind eye to the Yakuza's behavior. They will not act even though there is clear evidence. Therefore, Maggie advised Fu Long and Thor not to interfere with the affairs of the Yakuza. Long story short, they were both freed from the police station because the Yakuza did not report it legally. Afterwards, they were picked up by Feng Hua. In the car, Fu Long could only remain silent while thinking that his actions were always harmful to Song and people around him. Meanwhile, Thor and Feng Hua also had an argument. Here, Thor still hasn't accepted their divorce yet, even though it has been going on for 10 years. Seeing the fight, like it or not, Fu Long has to become the mediator. Even though they often fight, Fu Long was very sure that Thor and Feng Hua still like each other. After reconciling the two of them, Fu Long suddenly thought of Song and decided to go to her and apologize to her. Without thinking twice, Fu Long immediately looked for Song near the fish market. Fortunately, Song was still around there, as if she was deliberately waiting for Fu Long to arrive. After that, they finally forgave each other and spent the night eating ramen and drinking together. Fu Long then promised to resign from the police and open a resto in Hong Kong so he could make time for Song. But not long after that, there was an unpredicted big earthquake. Because of that, the restaurant was completely destroyed. Fu Long then helped people there. Song, who saw this, immediately realized that his ex-boyfriend was a real policeman. Therefore, she did not agree if Fu Long quit the police force because there were many people who needed him. The next day, Takashi went to his grandfather's house to ask for approval for the transfer of the Yakuza throne. But instead of signing the document, this old man ended up drawing a pig's head. Of course, Takashi immediately went berserk and forced his grandfather right then and there. And finally, this is what happened. Because of fear, the grandfather was forced to hand over his throne to Takashi. But unfortunately, even though he had signed the document, he was still killed by his cursed grandson. Seeing this incident, Song immediately ran away from there but when she was cornered, she pretended to faint in front of Takashi. Then, when Takashi was careless, Song woke up and attacked him. In another place, Thor was seen waiting for Feng Hua in front of the stall while holding flowers. Not long after that, Xiao Hu came to show a video on Yuji's cell phone, which previously could not be opened. As expected, the video showed Takashi and the gang smuggling drugs. But when Thor was about to contact Fu Long, Yuji's cell phone was stolen by one of the residents who was a Yakuza informant. Luckily, Feng Hua managed to snatch the cell phone back. At the same time, the Yakuza came to take Yuji's cell phone. Thor immediately told Feng Hua to run and secure evidence of Takashi's crime. Unfortunately, the Yakuza managed to corner Feng Hua in an alley. But when they were about to take the cell phone, Thor came carrying two butchered knives and not long after that, the fight broke out. After fighting them, Thor intended to escape with Feng Hua, but suddenly Takashi's man stabbed him in the stomach. Not long after, Fu Long came to help Thor and was about to call an ambulance. Unfortunately, Fu Long was surrounded by dozens of armed Yakuza. Like it or not, Fu Long had to act brutally. After a long time, Endo and the corrupt police came and asked the Yakuza to go home. Fu Long didn't like Endo's actions because they should be thrown into prison. Here, Fu Long was increasingly convinced that these corrupt police were Takashi's men, and without feeling guilty, Endo admitted this. He even admitted that he had farted in Maggie's car. Because Endo was too busy talking, he didn't realize that Maggie had recorded all of his confessions. Endo was afraid of going viral, so he immediately went after Maggie. But when Endo was about to catch Maggie, suddenly Shouhu hit him. On the other hand, Fu Long got a call from Song. But when he picked up the call, it turned out that it was Takashi who was speaking. He threatened to kill Song if Fu Long didn't come to the Tokyo Tower with Yuji's cell phone. Without thinking twice, Fu Long went straight to the place, and when he got there, he saw Song's face was battered. But before Fu Long could fight, Takashi shot him first. Luckily, his body was so fat that it can be used as armor. Therefore, it made it hard for him to die. 
Then, it was revealed that Takashi also had feelings for Song, and he felt jealous, because the woman preferred a fat man like Fu Long. Takashi finally decided to finish off Fu Long, but when he wanted to shoot Fu Long, this is what happened. After that, Chen came with Maggie to pick them up by helicopter. Unfortunately, Takashi woke up and attacked Fu Long with two katanas. Meanwhile, Song gave a weapon to Fu Long so he could keep up with Takashi. And they fight each other in epic. After fighting for a long time, Fu Long was finally able to finish off Takashi until he lay helpless. Then Chen held out the helicopter's emergency rope so that Fu Long and Song could get down from the tower before the Japanese police arrived. But to celebrate their victory, they both chose to hang with this rope. At the end of the film, Fu Long and Song officially get married and live together happily.